Welcome back to Game Raiders Play. This is Ghost Recon Wildlands Part 2. And in this episode, we are going to try and finish taking out La Yuri and El Polito. So, if you enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe. Here we go. Getting back into Wildlands. Let's go. Okay, I'll clear. Let's roll. Drone is airborne. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Check your targets. We got civilians Watch your in the fire. area. We don't want to hit any civilians. Hang back. That tango might spot you. I'm moving to position. Good to go. Get down before they see you. That Bendejo is no threat to All right, we're all clear. Go pere todo saldra bien. I'd you like a free get out of death card. I'll talk, all right? Just chill. We got a 20 in the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later.
see a second target. I got a third. He makes five. Marking a captain. This gives the location of a cartel antenna. They keep turning them on, we'll keep shutting them down. Packet. Ari's got some brass ones, I'll give him... Uh, give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us a Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. I'll pilot. a target carrying submachine guns. I look at your faces and I see the scars the men of the Santa Blanca have left on this land. Stealing our coca. Threatening our way of life. Burning our houses. Murdering okay, our okay. children. A trail of ash and blood. Dig in. The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. Fucking hell! Cover! Get to cover! Hey, 
The emitter's going to shit. The rebels are gonna give Santa Blanca hell after this. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hate him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. Fuck. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Uh Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. Drone is up. Spotting another tango. I got a third target. I got eyes on a sniper. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Damn, that was cold. I've been wanting one of these. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in the Unidad firebase.
Eyes on two Sicarios. The sandbag emplacement, see? says he got out of some sexy French novel called Story of the Eye. Look, I'm not defending them. I'm not. I'm just saying that they're not creative. And if they're not thinking up wacky pit and pendulum type stuff, and if they are able to be as in love as they are, well, well, they can't be like in pure evil. We've got a location on El Polito's personal car. Steal it, so our techs can analyze the car's GPS for intel. Point him out. By the camp entrance. Got another tango. And baby makes three. Eyes on a gun turret. I got another. That's five. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. There's another one. That's ten. Tango on the roof. Tango on the roof. Position. Let me get a good sight line. Roger that. Target marked. Ready to fire. I'm engaging tangos. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that.
ten sighted. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. We got a Sicario. Over there, by the fuel tank. Hey, next to that crate of calm gear. Deploying drone. Marking a tango. He's close to that local. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Heads up, we got a turret. We're up to 15.
Roger that. Move it. I need a better position. Roger. Target acquired. Good to go. Dropped him. Moving to position. Let me get a good sight line. Got the target. Ready to fire. Taking a shot. know something's up. Assholes are coming this way. What's the plan? There it is. Eyes on Polito's car. Done? Shit, I kinda got all excited there. Hey, I found a Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. Huh? This is a commendation. Looks like it came from a box of cereal or the Air Force or something. that patrol headed our way.
check this spot out for intel. This car is swanky, and there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Toledo's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the narco thing. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, but you just drive it around the same dusty towns you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning. Now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Hey, come on. We've learned that an Unidad captain named Fuentes has been working with Yuri and Polito. I'm riding the motorcycle. Interrogate Fuentes and see what intel he can give us. This is the Unidad Firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Who else? Sniper up in the tower. Sniper, top of the tower. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians. He makes five. Got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. I'm getting a position. I need a better position. Target marked. Good to go. The 
drone is up. Here we go. Got it. Eyes on the Unidad captain. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. Hold up, there's a weapons case here. Ah, I could use this. Get that oh, yeah. What the hell is this? How's it going, fuck stick? Pendejos. You are dead. <clears throat> Mierda. You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. en la última posición enemiga conocida comenzando la búsqueda Captured rebel being held in the village of Colta might have value. Now that our couple are heading back to Itaqua, all we need to do is find out exactly where the hell they're gonna be. We need that standing down. We're good to go.
Delta is still smoldering. Keep an eye out for the rebel they've got held here. I got a narco over here. The church. Inside. Tango number three. Sniper out there. That makes five. We got a Sicario. Next to the church. We rattled somebody's cage. They're coming right at us. Any ideas, boss? Engaging hostiles. drone.
We're clear. Check it out. Weapons case. Nice. Abre la puerta, compa. Open the door. You okay, hermano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much. And it was quiet. Out in the country somewhere. There... There, there was a smell. Like old animal skins. That's all I know. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it, the you... Just stay down, I'll be right there. Thanks. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it, they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. <laughs> We've got a location on Liuri and El Polito. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't care how you do it, so long as they both end up dead. I got it. I'll fly. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Cariño, who were you before you met? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. 
I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was a faded image, out of focus, until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn. Just now, when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on. You're such a jealous man. And each finger I broke was punishment for a sin those hands had committed against you. Gordo, you're going to make me cry. I can. I have a confession. You know you can tell me anything. Anything at all. Before, when you drenched that man with water, and I was electrocuting him with a cattle prod? But, Nirina, that was textbook perfection. Let me speak. After that man had defecated himself, because all the pain we had put him through, the suffering, <laughs> a passion like Christ, when he was lying there whimpering, I almost felt pity for him. I wanted to take care of him, to wrap my arms around him, to wipe away his tears. Beauty, look at me. What are you trying to tell me? Amor, I wanna have a baby. Whoever the fuck you are, I'm gonna bleach you slow. Yuri is down. Terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge is satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Sure. Well, I'd feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, jefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message too well. He doubled down. Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. Santa Blanca security forces. 
Runba El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC security forces recruit hard and train harder. Instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old US of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah, don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two thirds wash out to become Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head Sicario, La Plaga, the plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second in command of Santa Blanca security? Answer, spurn. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother, but don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet, and yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> 